can't hear you. Ready to go, sir. <coughs> you can't hear me. I can hear you now. Oh. Yes. He says he says when you when you try to torture him, he's gonna get a par parachute and bail out. Mm-hmm. To the nether regions. Huh? <laughs> to the upper regions. To the what? To the nether or upper regions. Anyway, we are. Uh, I don't know anything about you at all. Uh, and I don't know what uh, to ask you about yourself. Uh, <laughs> what do... What would you feel that... Uh, Appropriate to say under the circumstances. I don't know. <laughs> Is there anything that? Uh, and do you feel that your situation is okay for you just now, or? Uh, you say you tell me uh, coming over, you're taking some Nux Vomica to yeah. calm your. Yeah. System uh, down. And to sharpen my stupid wits. Yeah. What is it? Uh, what is it that's uh, creating the static in your system, the disturbance in your system? Oh, um, I think my brain doesn't work right. In what way? <laughs> oh, let me see. Well, I get, I get. The next vomica doesn't treat this per se. I'm getting another remedy for that. Well, I get things turned around. I get opposites confused. I get my I, when I write, I get my letters confused. I get words confused. And uh, either I tend to be paranoid, or, or they really are after me. I don't know which. So you're not sure whether you're confused about that or not. Uh, about what? About whether they really are after you or not. Uh. Well, he sounds like it. What, him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might be after me for a while. Oh, I'm just trying to help you guys um, get some sense into your brains. I don't know if it's worth it, though. You know, <clears throat> I, I had a guru for a long time who said, there, there isn't any sense in it. What you got to do to to be able to perceive reality is attain a level of consciousness which he offered, which I never attained, which is, he said, beyond the mind. It's completely above the mind. What sort of guru is this, Carter? This, this is Guru Maharaji. Ah. Well, what do you take him to mean by that? beyond the mind or above the mind? Well, whatever it is, I couldn't imagine with my mind, because it's beyond the mind. Or I suppose it's some sort of, I suppose it involves a universal, being conscious of the universal consciousness. You know, everybody is subconsciously aware of um, everybody else's mind. Well, you know that, I've seen that. I've seen you read my mind. I don't see how you can be conscious of the universal mind. The universal mind's conscious of you, but you're not conscious of oh, it. I, well, maybe so. <laughs> you maybe so. I mean, yeah, maybe out of my bitterness, I just say, well, the universal mind, you know, doesn't know anything. <laughs> I mean, maybe I say that because, because um, I look around and, and I don't see, I don't see any superior intelligence taking care of anything. How would you expect to see a... You mean all the pain and suffering, stupidity and confusion in the world? How can there be a universal mind if a universal mind allows that sort of stuff to go on? Yeah, especially stupidity. Ah. 
So either the, maybe the, either the universal mind is uh, stupid itself, or it's mad itself, or it doesn't exist. Oh, it exists. It might be the sum total of human minds, but it, it exists. Well, are you trying to... Well, I mean, I've spent a lot of time trying to work out uh, how that can uh, be the case, if it is the case. But I haven't found any answer to that myself. But I, I still put a collar and tie on under the circumstances. Why not? Yeah. I asked him why he didn't kill himself, and he says, you're not ready yet. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess if you're dead, you blow any chance of me of doing anything good, huh? This time round. Hmm? This time round, anyway. If we were just sitting here without these uh, uh, cameras on us and these microphones, I wouldn't say anything just now, but uh, I feel impelled to uh, uh, make an effort to keep talking for the sake of uh, people who are listening to it. Maybe I shouldn't bother. Are people listening to this? Yeah. A whole lot of people listening to this. That's why the... Mm -hmm. uh, Wait, nobody told me the the the, 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 the cameras is on. The cameras, uh, uh, that guy's got the, as far as I know, he's got the camera uh, on just now. And there are a whole lot of people listening to it. Jeez, I want to talk about that stuff about well, it. Know, it doesn't matter, more. it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in Phoenix, then? A year and a half. And what brought you to Phoenix? I was trying to escape the conspiracy, and it didn't work. And what conspiracy? Well, if there is one, I suppose you're a conspirator, so you know already. If there isn't, I guess I just imagined it. Well, uh, whether or not I'm a conspirator, and whether or not you're imagining it, are you prepared to uh, 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 give me your account of what that conspiracy is? As much as I can figure out, yeah. No, oh, well, go ahead. And, well, I think your conspiracy doesn't exist, so I just don't think about it. <clears throat> if I don't think about it, it's not there too much. But then people like Peter, people like Dr. Stumpf, you know, they tend to make me believe in it again. So, so I try to avoid those people. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. No, he's all right when he talks about the job. <laughs> is it a benign conspiracy or a malign hmm? conspiracy, is it? Huh? Well, well, is it a conspiracy for good I'll or for evil? I know, but if anybody messes with me like that, I don't care. But you know what I figure is, um, You see, the mind creates a whole lot of things, you know. I mean, I see mind is really powerful. And, and people, subconsciously, their minds always interact. They do, I've seen that, yeah. you know. And um, people see what they expect to see. Mm -hmm. So it stands to reason, if I believe in a conspiracy, people are going to act like conspirators. So far, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I told Dr. Stumpf, he walked into <clears throat> the room just as I was saying something negative about doctors. <laughs> <laughs> but he denied that he heard it. Well, 
Well, who walked in the room? Peter. Huh? Just who, who walked in the room just as when you were saying something? Dr. Stump. Ah. Uh -huh. But I don't know. Maybe I expected him to walk in when I said something negative about doctors. I mean, they try. <laughs> Well, that sort of thing happens. It's happening all the time. I mean, I don't. I. 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 I mean, I don't see what making a special point of that. But what do you mean? I don't see why you are making a special point of telling me that. Uh, uh, just now, since that sort of thing, as you know, I know and. I know you know it happens all the time anyway. Yeah. Because well, cause they're watching us. Oh, yeah, all right, we've got to instruct them. <laughs> well, I mean, this whole set up, set up is an enormous conspiracy. I and mean, you're right in the right in the heart of the conspiracy just now. Yeah. So it, you haven't <laughs> if you if you if you came to Phoenix to get away from the conspiracy, you haven't done very well. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, oh, you're sitting here <laughs> in this situation. Yeah, I mean the conference is a conspiracy. Yeah, of course. What kind of a conspiracy? Uh, well, I've got a, I've got a plane booked uh, to get to Boston on Sunday, so I'm not going to say what sort of conspiracy is because I want to go on that plane, you know, in good order, as far mm. as I'm concerned. No, I think it's quite a benign conspiracy. It's certainly a very concerted, deep plan. Uh, it involves uh, it's much wider than the number of people who are actually here. Seven thousand people mm. have flown in, uh, uh, and that's a sort of minor conspiracy in terms of the galaxy, but it's quite a big conspiracy. Oh. Well, how do you know about it? Hmm? How do you know about it? Well, I think it's a, a... I think the universal mind is, is has been asleep a bit. Uh, as far as this planet goes, I mean, in this galaxy, uh, 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 and this uh, planet, it's 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 uh, it's sort of itching a bit, and it's sort of waking up a bit and sort of doing something about it. Now. Is it is capable of doing anything. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, Jesus Christ has got no other hands but ours. Oh. It's only capable of doing what we do. I mean, as far as we're concerned. Are you a Christian? Well, it depends who I'm talking to. <laughs> well, just tell me you... Uh, if I'm talking to you? Well, uh, I'm not sure what I should say about that. Uh, and I, I, I'm a Christian in the sense that Jesus Christ wasn't uh, crucified, isn't wasn't crucified between two candlesticks in a cathedral. He was crucified in the town garbage heap between two thieves. In that sense, I'm a Christian. You're what? Huh? I didn't hear your last word. In that sense, I'm a Christian. But I mean, in another uh, in another sense, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't admit to being a, a Christian in most Christian company. Right, you're a Christian. Hell no. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. Um, I think I think God doesn't know what He's doing. So. Um, who knows? Maybe Jesus. Maybe Jesus had a mental problem. You know. 
Well, I, 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 maybe he didn't have time to mature. They got him too young. Huh? <laughs> or maybe... I was talking to my friend about this the other day. I told him I don't believe in God, and he says he believes in many gods, and, and they eat their disciples after they die. So maybe that, maybe that's what Jesus does. Well, uh, uh, worse things could happen, and uh, if when I die, I, was, I was eaten up by Jesus. <laughs> so it sounds quite a good gospel hymn. You think it would be okay? <laughs> yeah, well, I thought it might be better than getting eaten by the devil. It might be, indeed. But then, it might be better not to get eaten at all. I don't think you can help it. Excuse me? I don't think you can help it. Uh, uh, I mean, we're, uh, we're, either, we're either in the bowels of hell or in the bowels of heaven, or both, at one time. The what? The bowels. Bowels? Bowels. Oh. <coughs> yeah. But I think that's awfully mean. But then, that's just what my friend said. It doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's not fair? You say it's awfully mean. I think it's awfully mean that humans are at the consciousness we're at. We're just, we're just half, just halfway someplace. We're, we're intelligent, but we're not intelligent enough. At least I haven't figured anything out. Have you? You're older. What difference does that make? Well, you've had more time. <coughs> Have you figured anything out? You don't get any wiser when you get older. See? I'm laughing. I got a laugh. What about your, um, Mum and Dad and that sort of thing, what sort of... Are they alive or...? Who, my parents? Yeah. Yeah. What sort of chap was your father? Was your father? Oh, well, uh, he's a Christian preacher. Yes. Oh, I have to have known him. <laughs> yeah, my parents are very religious. Mm -hmm. At least they say they are. Well, you're very religious. You know what, my... Yeah, I guess... Oh, I it's not meant as an insult. Right? And my parents run, are currently are running a shelter up in Michigan. What? They are running a shelter. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Where is that? Uh? Saginaw. How do they feel about you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Um, I wrote them. I don't know. I wrote them a letter and asked them, and I haven't picked it up in the mail yet. I asked them uh, if if it was okay for me to send a Christmas present. <laughs> That's. I don't know. No reply. I haven't been to the post office yet to pick it up, to if they did reply. I mean, I sp they probably did. Do you expect them to send your Christmas present? Oh, God. I don't know. Let's see, I was... <coughs> I had some Christmas gifts, so I thought I'd send them some. 
Because I was making crafts for Christmas. Because you're making... Crafts? Crafts. Yeah. Uh -huh. I would never have thought of uh, sending, writing my parents and asking them if it was okay for me to send them a present for Christmas. Uh, and why wouldn't it be okay? Well, because maybe they hate me after all. I, after being an unfaithful daughter. Unfaithful to. Yes. Mm. I haven't visited them in years. <laughs> mm. And in fact, and I don't communicate well, well with them either. But you see, I have my own life to live. Uh, you know, I hope they understand that, but maybe they don't. Well, if you're faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ, how can yeah. you be unfaithful to your father? I mean, he said, uh, didn't he, uh, uh, unless you hate your father and mother and follow me, you can't be my disciple. Yeah. What does your father make of that? Well, probably that um, all this cr Christian emphasis on family is, a, is, a, is against the teachings of Jesus. You know, the modern, the modern Christian emphasis on families. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I, I, do you know that passage uh, where, where Jesus, uh, I, I always uh, uh, thought there was something wrong with that translation. It said, in, uh, in, uh, said unless you, uh, the, 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 I, I, unless you hate your father and mother, and brother and sisters also said, said you cannot be my disciple. In the English version, mm. I think it means unless you prefer me to your father and mother. I don't recall that he's, that it said hate. Hmm. It's uh, something like deny. Yeah, I, I asked a guy, uh, if, uh, an Aramaic uh, scholar, but I said he, he, he thought it meant unless you are happily indifferent to them. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. I call his bluff. Because if you're not happily indifferent to your parents, they're going to be on your case all your life. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> mm. I have to go back now. I'm going to get up on stage and talk okay. about it. Is that right? Okay. Right. I'll see you later. Mm. Okay. Mm. Hey, can I come out? Do you want to come out? See what you say, yeah. Perhaps I could ask if any of the panel would like to make a comment before we go for questions and answers from the uh, and comments from the audience. How is that for you now that you've seen that there is a large group of people here? Thank you for your graciousness in being here, by the way. Oh, they're, they're very nice to clap. They're very nice to clap for us. It's an acknowledgement of your courage. So thank you. Would you like to make any comment? No.